The first set of the day will be played on Newkirk. Uh, and, uh, so you saw gonna, that. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and skip the player introductions because we're going to be starting out with some cheese. Now, just to make a note, seems like there were some uh, wrong numbers with the data because it seems like Deer, he is 11 and 7 when it comes to PvP, but it's a difference between who is right when it comes to the record. You know, sometimes Kespa is wrong, sometimes we input the wrong numbers right before the cast begins, but... What's more important right now is a free is moving out on the map. Yeah. Deer is not expecting anything. It certainly is not. Now, the thing with proxies and PvP is they've fallen so out of style that they almost work again. But players have been pretty good at blocking them. This is a map where you'll, like, you'll never scout around your main base, really. Whoa! Hold on, guys. I think he may be doing... He could be going for a cannon rush. Like That's a possibility. This is weird. We... I've never seen, I don't think anyone has ever seen this before, where they make a pile on their opponent's uh, ramp. This is this is gonna be really weird, and we have a gateway on the way here for free. I guess he is anticipating his opponent not, not scouting. scouting at all this game. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't, I mean, he is gonna scout inside the main base to see if there's a, maybe a little proxy, but Newkirk Redevelopment Precinct, the Pro League version of Newkirk, does hold not, on, hold on. He doesn't have that much off. space inside the main base, and this is actually really smart. He walled off his opponent. Yeah. What? What? This means that this means that Deer, once he actually defends the attack somehow, when he scouts it, he can't put the probe outside of his main base to put a proxy pylon down right away for the reverse four gate into his opponent's main base. Yeah, this is just this is so cool. We've never seen this before. And uh, Deer, you know, he's getting his gas. We have the Zealots being crowned out now from, fee uh, from free. The Cybernetic score is on its way, about halfway done now. And the thing is, Deer, he's playing this completely blind. You know, he's just assuming everything's normal. His opponent isn't going to do any type of proxy. At moves against him, but... At, at this case. rate, he's just going to GG once he sees the first Zealot. <laughs> I don't know if he'll GG, man. He's still going to try. But now it's, now it's panic time for Deer. And I feel like free, it would have been better for him to wait for those extra two Zealots, but he hasn't lost the Zealot and Probe yet, so he's still okay. The thing is, we're going to see the Mothership Core chronoed out, and then it's really a race against time for free. As long as he can kill enough workers, yes. he'll be okay. Now that's three Zealots instead of one, even getting a lot. Okay, first Probe kill out, the Mothership Core is out, but those are three Zealots. Uh, and we have more Zealots on the way from free. A Stalker being built by Deer as well here. And the Zealots they're completely going to town on these probes, killing off so many of them here. Uh, we have another Zella joining the fight here as well. The probe count now is starting to get pretty low. I count uh, about seven probes left or so for our Protoss player. And that Zella, nice micro there, four health, almost dead. The Stalker's now out though, that's something to point out. And the, the gateways, because they've been able to block the entrance, this Stalker will not be able to move out until it kills off uh, the Pylon. And here's the funny thing, even if he defends the attack, now he's down to six probes, oh, and you could defend against the attack relatively easily once you get a second oh! stalker out, but until then, Deer cannot mine at all. Yeah, already losing up to 15 workers. The stalker very low on health. It's in the red right now, and the zealots are probably pretty weak at this point as well. But even then, all Free has to do is make more zealots, and even if the Mother's Core kills all the zealots, he's not going to have anything to mine from. Yeah, yeah he does. He doesn't have any single probe. Yeah. But uh, Free needs to be careful. He doesn't want to let the militia core of his opponent go into his main base and start picking off workers. So we will have to eventually. It uh, looks like he is starting to mine gas right now. They okay, stopped the production of Zelts except for one on this way. And he's just going to continue this game with a nice advantage. His core yeah. almost finished now, getting more gateways in his main base. He can pretty much just go for a four gate and win. Yeah, all Free has to worry about is that one militia core, and yeah. he wins the game. Yeah, so free, he'll probably start building a stalker pretty soon here. And the the damage that he did, the investment, completely worth it for free. He is miles ahead of his opponent right now. His economy's in fantastic shape. His tech isn't that far behind his opponents, and he can easily make up for that over time. It's just, yeah. uh, and and also something to point out, Deer is not even mining any gas. Yeah. If this mother score has a kill of to 15 probes to equalize damage, I have to say. But even if he kills, you know, five, six probes, the Stalker is going to be out, yeah. and the Mother's Core is going to be forced away. So 
free. All he has to do is do little micro, pulling those probes away. It doesn't matter if he loses as many, um, you know, five or six probes here because he is so far ahead at this point. Yeah, he can lose some probes right now, and he'll still be okay. It's going to be annoying, but but once this mothership core is uh, kind of forced out, he'll be okay. Here we go. Stalker is out. And the Mothership Core needs to run away. It's going to get one more pro. Up Maybe 10 kills two. on the Mothership Core. Nice. That's actually really good. Now, it's 15 probes to 10, so Free still has a pretty solid edge here. But Deer is not going to leave this game. He is going to do his best to just get back into things. Now, the issue is oh, we have a Stalker here. Never mind. That's just Deer's Stalker. But Free, he's going to send a Stalker over there, and mm -hmm. that's going to be a second Stalker. But if you just, I mean, it's not a situation where Deer should GG at this point because he did a lot of damage with the Mothership Core. Now the probe count has been, you know, somewhat equalized. But the biggest problem is the psychological damage has been done at this point. Also, something else that's pretty big to point out, Warp Gate. It's almost finished for free. He's just going to send over a probe and warp in some Stalkers. And Deer, he doesn't have the economy or the production to match free at this point. Mm -hmm. He's just counting on the fact that he could get, uh, he could oh. get a lot of probes out, but he needs to micro the Stalker. He's got to micro that back, maybe utilize the probes as well. Um, and Nexus Cannon going down. This is actually really good for free because uh, he's going to... Oh, so close. Down, uh, I believe, to five health there. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, but like you said, it's really good for free at this point because he drew out the Nexus Cannon. If he tries to go for counter attack, he could win. But at this point, he is going to play safe. Interesting that he's going for a sentry right now. I, just, yeah. I think he can just make like more talkers than his opponent and win. Huh? I have a feeling this is actually putting Deer in a position where... Oh, Deer's making a sentry. Yeah, Deer's also making a sentry. He, he, he's the one who has to play defensive at this yes, point. He does. But free making a sentry was a little bit odd, I have to say. On a, you know, a lot of the players, after they draw out the Nexus Cannon inside the main base, they go for a 4K and win the game right away. Yeah. All right, it looks like free wants to do some harassment once again here with his Mothership 4. And he gets one probe kill. Maybe going to go for another. Nope. He doesn't want to risk it. Doesn't want to risk it. Takes a little bit of full damage there, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, the Warp Gate tech is now about complete for both players. They're both going in the Robo as well. Uh, and Free taking an expansion. I feel like he's he's lacking that killer instinct that a lot of other players may just be like, you know what? I'm so far ahead, I can just kill mm -hmm. my opponent. Well, he's also scared of the mother support because if this was back in Wings, there's no way that a Protoss player can defend. But now, because of the Mothership Cannon, because of Time Warp, and not knowing how much energy his opponent has, Free has to play carefully. If not, all of the Stalkers could get trapped, yeah. and the Mothership Cannon can kill him off easily. Well, the thing is, if this goes into a late-game scenario, then that early advantage that Free got is going to be nullified. Yeah. So that's the thing that I'm worried about. You know, Once you secure such a big advantage in the game, if you don't take advantage of it, then it just kind of wears off after a certain point. Mm -hmm. Especially in PvP. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, both players are scouting each other with the Phoenixes. They're going into pretty identical builds here. Uh, Free does have a nice supply advantage here, but Robotics has been revealed, and the Nexus has not been revealed. Mm -hmm. Same for uh, Free at this point. He does scout the Robo, and he is going to see the Nexus at the natural. Yep. All right, Free sees everything here. I would love to see some type of timing response from him, but you know he's already chronoing out his nexus, uh, his probes at the nexus now. I'm just gonna get the robotic spay down behind this. You know, maybe he'll go for a timing attack afterward. But if he decides to go into like a three base macro war with like just kind of like a bit of an mm -hmm. advantage throughout the game, you can do that. But that's just uh, giving your opponent a way to come back into the game. Yeah. Free. The best decision is gonna be get two Colossus out, maybe even three at this point, and then go for a strong push. His opponent here is going to have maybe one or two Immortals and then one Colossus, but he can't match what Free has. Yep. And the, the Phoenix, Hussein Phoenix, scouts the Robotic Spay, and we see a Stargate go down for Gear, so this is how he wants to deal with that Colossus tech, going into either the Phoenix or Void Rays. I got to say that when you're playing from behind, this would be a, a pretty good decision to do, because he knows that his opponent is going mm -hmm. for the Colossi tech. Yeah, and Free, well, he is going to scout inside the main base. Is he going to see the Stargate? No, he's just going to take a look inside the main base. He sees the unit composition of his opponents and also checks out the Nexus timing. So, yes, dear, he did make the right decision by going to the Stargate. 
And once he gets the Void Race out, yes, he is going to have some units to defend against the Colossi. But if Free has the timing before the critical number of Void Rays come out, then he could just roll over his opponent. Yep. So what was really critical with the scouting is that Free did not see the Stargate. Whoa. If he saw it, he would have gone for it right away. Something is important to point out here. You have four gateways total being built from Free, so I have a feeling he is going to go for that two-base mm -hmm. timing here and trying to do his best to just block that by killing off this hallucinated phoenix with his units beforehand. Mm -hmm. The gateways aren't really scattered here, just one building, and he doesn't see yeah. the other ones at the natural, so this is actually really good for free if he wants to go for a timing against his yeah. opponent here. I mean, up to six gateways on two bases, my s you know, it is normal, but given how free both the scattered around his main base and the natural... And the proxy pylon going down. We know what it's going to be. Yeah, he's going for a timing, already moving out with a lot of his units here. His, he's going to have his second Colossus joining the fight mm. very soon. It looks like this is this timing is going to finish around the same time that Extended Thermal Lance finishes. The Phoenix scouts everything now. That sees the extra gateways here. So that's got to prompt Deer into thinking, okay, my opponent's going to go for some type of push here. I better put down more gateways. They're very defensive. And I think this Lucinian Phoenix, yes, will scout that Stargate. So uh, now it's free. He needs to make start making more anti-air instead of just making a lot of zealous to power through because now that's two voidways. That's something that you can't ignore too much. Yeah. And still, though, the firepower for Free is superior right now. He's up about 10 supply over his opponent. The uh, Nexus Cannon, though, got to worry about that. Nice force fields going down, dropping a Zealot and one of those Immortals, and actually dropping a lot of units on that ramp as well. Great force fields from Free here, and with these Stalker reinforcements, that's going to be gonna, it. That's going to be He's just going to completely bolt through his opponent here. Second Colossus joining the fight as well. All of Gear's units are evaporating here, and it looks like Wujin Stars will take game number one. Yeah, dear, he's trying his best with his Immortals, but that's not enough against what Free has at this point. And now he is forced to tap out. Yeah, dear, he's, he knows the game is over. He's just trying to warp in some units, pulling everything he can. Double time warp going down from Free, saying, hey, I already won this game. I don't need these for any strategic reason here. You need to get out now. It's over, it's over, it's over. GG! Free taking game number one off of Deer. First set of Pro League match. Looks pretty good doing it. I really like how he did the proxy gateways on the ramp there as well. That was once a proxy gateway does get fended off, there are times where the opponent can sneak out a probe, sit through the pylon or somewhere else around the map, hide a tank or something like that, or go for a really fast counter four gate. And free thought about everything yep, when he executed did. the build. Uh, and that, that build is so meta that it works. Mm -hmm. So I guess a good way to describe it. All right, guys, the score currently 1-0. Wunjin Stars in the lead. Deer being taken out by Free. Who will be sent out next from STX Seoul? Find out after we get back from this commercial break.